What's up, everybody? It's your boy JD back again with a video. Y'all know what time it is. It's time to hop back in the animation reader. So, we're about to go ahead and get into it and see what's in store for us today. But before we do, make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel. If you haven't done so already, we'll take supporting you further. Patreon link is in the description below. Also, join our Tackle Game membership and hit the notification bell so you can notified every time I upload a video or go live on the channel. So, let's go ahead and get into it, man. I need to beg for their forgiveness. Okay, Dude, this was such a beautiful panel, man. God damn, that was such a beautiful panel. All right. Damn it. What's with these trees? Okay, tree branches just going haywire and crazy. All right, that's, that's cute. Is that a firefly? It is a firefly. This way. That must be Gil Young. Who the hell is this? Who goes there? Uh, this is over there. Ain't got no time to worry about it. Damn, lightning strike. Hold up. Hold up. Swole up. Let me ask again. Who goes there? Lightning and thunder of the white storm. A voice that sounds like a constellation's true voice despite, despite not being one. A power strong enough to turn catastrophes into dust despite being a small person. The most powerful returnee of three ways to survive the apocalypse. Born on peace land. Cardios Rodgram. Design's okay. Design's okay. Not bad. Not bad design. Interesting design. Okay. Most incarnates consider constellations to be the most powerful beings in the star stream. But there are other beings who are powerful enough to go against constellations. There are demon kings who refuse their chance to become a constellation. And even dragons who rule at the top of the food chain as monsters. Then what about humans? Could humans ever reach a level where they could possess, well, where they could oppose a constellation? The question to that answer is standing right before me. It's an honor to be in your presence, Cardios. And, and, and I'm probably butchering the name, and I just want to say in advance, I apologize. Interesting. You have sacrificed your own existence for the survival of another planet. Asuka is dead. Okay. <laughs> I will let you off this time seeing how brave you are. Take your friend and get out of my sight. Returnees. There are beings who were born with special gifts and transcended their mortal existence thanks to blessings of the star stream. Among such beings... Kyrgios. Let's go with Kyrgios. Let, let's just go with that. Was blessed with enough powers to not be drawn into a magnetic force the Dokubi scenario exerts on men. I must have a word with you. Do you consider yourselves worthy of my time? When I am the white storm of paradox. Ooh! Ooh! Okay. He's strong. How could a mere mortal, a small person, at that be this powerful? Intriguing. You must be protecting yourself using some unknown force. Oh, he's taking interest? I don't know if that's good or bad. Kyrgios. This world needs your help. Is that why you sought me out? That's right. As did that other small being. The small constellation of the little plane looks at Kyrgios. Rogram. With teary eyes. The small constellation of the little planet has gifted 10 coins. Wait, how do you get coins? I don't need it. <laughs> he's in shock. All things are due to expire someday, just as all stories must come to an end. And for this planet, the end is now. Then why did you return here, when you've already left Peaceland a long time ago? Something called for me. Asuka, okay. Don't fool yourself. Did you not come back to protect your home planet? I don't have any fond memories of this place. This planet. Because this is where you were born weak. Ooh, okay, okay, we just throwing shots. Because it's the mother planet that brought you into this world, in that cursed body of yours. I suggest you watch your words, and don't make me repeat myself. Get lost. There won't be a third, are you scared? Oh, bro, so we just, we just poking the proverbial bear here. Okay. What? I asked if you were scared of those constellations who toy with your world, of that conniving serpent. Don't see you, you boy, you boy, 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 boy. That, that man ain't playing with you. That man ain't playing with you, boy. You chuck, Hmm, you watch your mouth. 
If you wish to die, I shall grant you that wish. That man is not playing with you, fam. Don't lie about the real reason you came here. You came to watch this planet die, did you not? I know that you are not able to use your powers to the true potential because of the plausibility clauses. You won't even have to lift a finger. Mmm. 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 I will defeat the catastrophe of Peaceland. So, take me in as your apprentice. Well, this is an interesting turn of development. They always end in like the most weirdest spots. I swear. Okay. So, are we going to be an apprentice? Can Doksha actually learn something? <laughs> I think that's I think that's the real question. Is he good enough to actually learn something? That's going to be probably the hardest thing here. Hardest thing to figure out, most definitely. But that's it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed. You did. Make sure to drop a like, sub to the channel. Let me know what you guys think about everything that happened in the comment section below. Also, you guys want to keep up with me. Twitch, Twitter, Discord links, all of that is in the description as well. And I will catch you guys next time. Peace.